Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, President William Samai Ruto allies have been sharing out information just to make sure that they are trying to paint a picture that shows that the fourth regime, the government of President Uhuru Kenyatta that has just ended, went home with everything and Ruto was left with nothing in the office. That is the kind of picture they have been painting out here. They wanted their supporters to buy into this issue. But then I can say here categorically that if this team is not very careful on what they are trying to share out, they will end up exposing William Samaruto more than maybe beyond repair. Because now, what Kenyans are learning is that they are losing trust in William Samuel Ruto administration as early as this. Because now, whom should the Kenyans trust? Is it Itumbi? Is it, is it Aaron Chiralage? Or Aaron Cheriot? David Chirichir? Whoever, who should Kenyans trust? Because all of these people are closely working with William Samuel Ruto. And even in the UN general where the president is as of now, I know there is a team around him, but still the same people are the ones coming out with a contradicting statement to Kenyans. And if we are not careful, maybe, just maybe, William Ruto regime might deliver what they promised Kenyans on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, just on social media. But what will be on the ground might just be a different situation. Najabi le mtu anakutumianga picha, lakini ile siku mnapananga nayo unapata vitu ziko different kwa ground. Maybe that's the kind of government we are going to have as of now. I'm saying this because one of President Ruto's ally, a close ally, shared information. Of course, of course, we analyzed it here. But what he shared later is a contradictory of the first statement that he had shared. Let us check on uh, a post that was shared by David Stilcher, <clears throat> and we read two of them. This is the first one he gave some time back. The only money our president Ruto has found in the treasury is 93.7 million Kenyan shillings. It's good to know Uhuru Kenyatta took everything home. You see? From this gazette notice, the government is broke. Opening balance for July cash 616 million. For July August total revenue received cash 383 374.4 million total exchequer total exchequer issues cash 383 897.3 3 million opening balance for September cash 93.7 million so what they were claiming was that the president only left 93 Point seven million, and of course Kenyans were asking them, where did they got two hundred million for inauguration ceremony of President William Samuel Ruto, if they had a balance of ninety three, and they came out to tell Kenyans that the money they used for inaugurations was borrowed. Then the information they started peddling on social media, so you borrow two hundred million for inauguration. Hmm. Now, yesterday. David Chirichir also tweet, uh, posted another, he shared another post about fertilizer. And this is now what he is exposing who, uh, William Ruto's allies on the information they are making about President Uru Kenyatta. Because that's what he said. National Treasury avails 3.6 billion fertilizer shillings, sorry, National Treasury avails 3.6 billion shillings for fertilizer subsidy program. 71,000 metric tons of fertilizer to be sub subsidized. President William means 
business. Now, he's talking about 3.6 billion shillings. In a span of three days, where did they get 3.6 billion shillings to buy fertilizer? Then you may subsidize to the farmer. So already this is a contradiction of the first statement. You talked about 93 million. Now you're talking about 3.6 billion. Now the only question Kenyans are asking here, whom should they believe? Is it what they do or what they say? Because the first place they painted a picture of a government that is dilapidated, if I use, if you allow me to use the use Rigathe uh, Gashagwa's statement, they have been left an economy that has dilapidated. But now, with 93.7 million, they have been able to purchase a fertilizer worth 3.6 billion. So, Ruto's ally <coughs> should come clear on this matter, and they should be aware that the same way President William Ruto used to say during campaign that Wakenya Sio Wajink, then it is high time they should know that Kenyans are not stupid. We are continuing with the panel discussion, but just a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you're not subscribed. So my humble request, please consider subscribing so that another time, once you release a video like this one, you will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers, and the anyone drop comment, I must say thank you so much for unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend our videos to more viewers. Back to our discussion. So the only question in the building today is that whom should Kenyans trust? Is it these people who are working closely with President William Samuel Ruto? We are aware Ruto is yet to appoint his cabinet. Of course, once he's back, that is the duty he will need to do. Appoint and uh, <laughs> subject them to an uh, interview through the National Assembly. They have to interview these people. They have to screen them. And then his cabinet will be in a place to work. But they are sharing information on social media, right, left, center, contradicting. And from today, I can tell you, you have no reason to trust anyone in the current William Samuel Ruto's team. Because what they were sharing out here is a contradicting information, which is meant to mislead Kenyans. They want to paint a picture of a president who has found a treasury that is dry. And they want to shift the blame to president, retired president Uhuru Kenyatta, that he took the money home. But now, when they come with a statement to show that William Ruto is working by bringing in a subsidy fertilizer, then you look at the cost of that fertilizer, it again backfire on the first statement that they had shared to the people. The truth of the matter is that William Ruto gave a lot of promises to the electorate when he was campaigning. So many things were promised. But seemingly, whatever he promised cannot be delivered wholesomely. All the packages that Ruto sold to the electorate, electorate during campaign, he might not deliver all of it. And because of this, his team is trying to already start creating a perception that there is no money in the treasury to deliver what Ruto had promised. So Ruto is starting from scratch. And if we're starting from scratch, then some of the promises might take longer and seemingly some might not be delivered because after all the treasury was looted. That is what they want to paint. Because already they understand that he will not deliver everything he promised. Yes, there are things that he will deliver. 
Of course, I talked about the SGR services being reverted to Mombasa. Good, it has been done so. He talked about swearing in those judges whom who refused to swear in. Good, he has done so. But then when it comes to the issue of development and the matters concerning the economy, there are things Ruto will not deliver. The Hustler Fund is not something new. We had Youth Fund. That's something we want to work on. So he just made it to look like it's a new thing. But the way he said he will deliver it, things might not work that way. So you create an escape god so that you start running another narrative by destroying a reputation of the immediately retired president, Uhuru Megai Kenyatta. We know even Uhuru in his administration, there are so many things he got wrong. But saying that he looted money and he has gone with everything in the situation at home, I think they were going too far. If looting happened, even William Ruto then has been part of it, because after all, he was part of the previous regime. So he might not run away from this issue. And we'll wait and see, because now they are even exposing Ruto. The truth of the matter is that there is money Ruto has to start his regime. There's no regime that goes home with everything. There's money to start with as they go forward. But because they might not deliver what they promised the hustler, then you come in with a such statement. Because as of now, people cannot afford food. So you start saying this now, they will focus on, oh, Uhuru has gone home with money that they were supposed to use to buy food. People are promised so many things here. But delivery is the problem. And in my view, I think the team around William Ruto is already exposing him with the kind of lies they are bringing to the common manage. See you in our next video.